And as Audrey just mentioned, the eastern part of Long Island could be in for a pretty rough couple of days. Yeah, let's take a live look at the scene in Southampton, which is under a state of emergency. The ocean there starting to consume the beach. Ashley Rodriguez is in that area. She's live in Hampton Bays with the very latest. Ashley. Yeah, the conditions aren't even expected to get really bad until tonight. But take a look. The wind is whipping. The ocean is churning. And this morning, the dunes here were nearly breached. I mean, the powerful waves are just pounding away at the sand. So crews spent the day trying to build back those barriers as fast as possible. The effects of Hurricane Lee arrive along the South Shore Friday, bringing gusting wind and crashing waves as high as 14 feet. The presence of the Category 2 storm will be shrouded under a full moon that will swell the tide and could send rushing water into towns near Lido Beach up to Ponquag, where the sand dune was nearly breached. With breaches, you have to be very careful because once they do form, they can get worse very quickly. It's why the town of Southampton has declared a state of emergency for the area, allowing the supervisor to shut down roads and divert emergency crews at a moment's notice. Bulldozers are being used to move as much sand as possible to shore up the barriers that sit between the ocean and nearby buildings. There is no beach out there. It's just pond and then a sandbar and then the ocean, and the ocean is a good distance away. The town of Hempstead supervisor spent the week urging residents living in low-lying areas to prepare. Just because it's not raining doesn't mean you're not having the ill effects of the storm. Authorities say underneath the powerful waves, the water is churning into violent rip currents, but surfers couldn't resist the frothy squalls. They were about head high. Um, you could ride the barrel and get pitted. These are lethal conditions. People really need to stay out of the ocean right now. The storm isn't expected to send Long Island heavy rain, raging winds, power outages, or inland flooding. The biggest impact it could bring is long-term damage to the coastline, potentially eroding several feet of the sandy shore. And exactly what those impacts are are unknown at this point. So we're just trying to be best prepared for what might come our way. And high tide is tonight at 9 p.m. That's going to be the moment of truth. That's when we can really see the water come in. But the hope is, is that crews shored up these dunes with enough sand to prevent any significant flooding. In Hampton Bays, Ashley Rodriguez will send it back to you in the studio.